Hi, it's Kerry. Lots of insects today. Subscribe and give a thumbs up if you like insects. This is the golden ring dragonfly. They're easily identified by the distinctive black and yellow stripes. They are found in the UK. They feed mainly on a range of insects including midges, flies, butterflies and bumblebees. The dragonflies are found in heathland and moorland habitats. Can you tell me, how does a praying mantis catch its prey? Is it between its front legs or in its mouth? The yellow fat tail scorpion is one of the most dangerous scorpions in the world. They are found in the semi-arid and arid regions of the Middle East and Africa. They grow to a length of nearly 4 inches. Their sting can kill. Scorpions will generally try to kill and eat anything which moves and is smaller than themselves. The stag beetle gets its name from the extended jaw which looks like a stag's antlers. The male beetle uses their jaws to wrestle each other. The female stag beetle is smaller and has smaller jaws. giant weta are several species of weta found only in New Zealand and are examples of island gigantism. There are 11 species of giant weta growing up to 10 centimetres or 4 inches, not including the legs and antennae, with a body mass usually no more than 35 grams. Giant weta are too heavy to fly. Some of its relatives like the tree weta are more agile and can jump but the giant wetter can't. The tortoiseshell butterfly is a medium sized butterfly that is mainly reddish orange in colour with black and yellow markings on the forewings as well as a ring of blue spots around the edge of the wings. It's found in temperate climates wherever common nettle grows which the larvae feed on. Praying mantis. Praying mantis catch their prey between their spiked front legs. Typical prey would be moths, crickets, grasshoppers, flies, other insects and even other praying mantis. The females lay hundreds of eggs and when the nymphs hatch they look like miniature versions of their parents. The rhinoceros beetle is part of the family of scarab beetles. They are among the largest of beetles in the world. It gets its name from the rhinoceros like horns, which are slightly forked at the end. Rhino beetles can grow to two and a half inches. They are all totally harmless. They are active at night and tend to hide from predators during the day. They can make loud hissing squeaks by rubbing their wings on their abdomen to scare off predators. The Lord Howe Island Stick Insect. It nearly became extinct due to black rats, but a breeding pair were found on another island. The one remaining natural population only has 24 individuals. The stick insects are wingless and nocturnal, 
feeding only on one species of Melaleuca shrub that can grow up to 6 inches long. There is an ongoing breeding program which has been very successful. Once the rats are eradicated, they will be able to return to Lord Howe Island. The Vineyard Snail is found in many places around the world. In Australia it is a pest as it climbs to the top of plant crops and gets in the way when the crop is harvested. The shell diameter is just under one inch or two and a half centimeters and is usually a white or cream color. It feeds mainly on plant material. They like to live in sheltered, moist conditions and are mainly active at night. To survive dry periods, they become dormant and seal off the shell entrance with a layer of dried mucus to reduce water loss until conditions improve. The honey bee. It helps pollinate plants, which helps them reproduce. A third of all the plants we eat have been pollinated by bees. They live in colonies with a queen bee, workers and drones, producing wonderful honey. They have fast moving wings, a honeybee dies once it has used its sting. The Mexican red kneed tarantula has a calm temperament and natural beauty. It gets its name from the attractive markings around the middle of each leg. Its body is covered in short dark hairs. These hairs can be flicked off to deter predators and work as an irritant. They live in the dry desert areas of western Mexico. They live in burrows to escape the heat. They often ambush prey by sitting just inside their burrow. This could be insects or small mammals, birds and reptiles. It grows to about 8 inches. The Tarantula. It has 8 hairy legs. Tarantulas are nighttime hunters who will pounce on their prey. Insects are their main prey but they also target bigger game including frogs, toads and mice. Mosquito means little fly. There are 3,500 species known worldwide. Mosquitoes cause the most deaths than any other animal in the world. They are carriers of serious diseases that can be transmitted to people or animals when they suck blood. Female mosquitoes tend to lay their eggs in stagnant water. Even very shallow puddles are suitable. Monarch butterfly is also known as the milkweed butterfly because larvae eat the plant. By planting milkweed in your garden, you will attract monarch butterflies. The adult females lay her eggs on the underside of milkweed leaves where they hatch. After two weeks, they develop into caterpillars, then transform into a pupa or chrysalis. The praying mantis. They have two bulbous compound eyes, three small simple eyes and a pair of antennae. They get their name from their bent legs which looks like they are praying. They're usually brown or green and blend in with their surroundings.
the grasshopper. Their size can vary from half an inch to five inches. Their body provides camouflage, so depending on where they live, their colour can be green, brown, grey or ochre. The long hind legs are used to travel a distance 20 times longer than its body due to a string-like structure located in the knee, which works as a catapult. pulling all these little creatures out of the holes here. They're very small and then I'll do them one after each other. The ladybug. There are two sets of wings. The outer set is the hard shell for protection and the inner set are what is used to fly. Bumblebee. They have stocky bodies that are covered with many hairs to which the pollen sticks. Bumblebees have four fast moving wings. They live in colonies with a queen bee, drones and worker bees. Bumblebees can sting multiple times without dying like honeybees do. Scorpion. This is a smaller version. Scorpions have eight legs, a pair of pincers and a narrow segmented curved tail with a venomous stinger. The scorpion uses their pincers to quickly grab prey and then attacks with their poisonous tail stinger. The tail is also used as a useful defense against predators. The centipede. This came with my watering hole set. A centipede has one pair of legs per body segment. Its diet consists of invertebrates, snakes, frogs and mice. The scorpion. This also came with my watering hole set. It's really cute, very tiny. Thank you for watching my video. Please stay right on here at Super Fun Reviews for more great videos. See you again soon. Don't forget to tell me how many hairy legs a spider has. There's a really good funny ending coming up in a minute. I hope you enjoy it. Get ready for that fun ending. Fun starts. Thank you for watching my video. It really helps if you can share my videos on any of the social media sites that you like to visit. See you again soon.